Hey guys, it's Tom from Array. We're here today to show you how to install an extension tube on your carbon fiber boom poles. Array offers five different sizes, two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, and six foot extension tubes. So you'll have the right tool for the job that you are on. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install a two foot extension tube to your CFP 68 boom pole. CFP 68, six standing for six sections. Eight means it's an eight foot boom pole. The first thing you need to do is the arrowhead tip needs to come out. Why? Because we're gonna need a little slack to work with, okay? So there's a Allen key that comes with your boom poles. There's a set screw up on here on the arrowhead tip. I'm just gonna give that a couple turns, loosen that up and unscrew your arrowhead tip, the removable tip. Very simple. And then just pop your cable out. There's a set of two strain release on the cable there to make sure there's no movement. Pop that out and let that sit there while you unscrew your side exit. We're doing this with the side exit today right now. Now you got plenty of slack to work with. If you don't want to remove the tip, the arrowhead tip, to give yourself some slack, because you might be in a big rush during a session and you got to get this done quick. It's a very simple way. You just got to create a barrier so that cable won't retract back into the boom pole. Give yourself some slack. You can grab a, a, a screwdriver. You can use a pen. Just insert it through a couple of coils. Very simply like this. And give yourself a barrier so that cable won't retract back into the boom pole. Now you have room to work. When you open it up, you're gonna see there's a strain relief in here. That's gonna hold in the TA3 connector. Make sure when you extend your boom pole, you don't have any problems with connections popping out. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just slide that down the cable a little bit to give yourself some slack, okay? You're gonna to wanna to disconnect the TA3 connector, which means reaching your finger in there, depressing the tab, and now you're disconnected. When you unpack your extension tube, there's gonna be a cable in there, okay? you'd be set to go. You want the female end, obviously, to connect to the male end. So, very simple. You're gonna put your, you connect your two TA3 connectors from the extension tube to the boom pole. Once that's done, very important step, you have to slide the strain relief back down so it's resting on the TA3 connector. Okay, that's gonna be your security blanket. Once that's done, you can pull the cable back out the top and the strain release is just gonna rest against the, the rim of the, the boom pole. Bring your extension tube back to the, to the threads of the boom pole, screw it in. Come back down here to the end, pop this back into, pop the TA3 connector back into your side exit. Screw that back in, like this. Screw that back in like so. Then, very simply, bring your cable back up from the top. Put the cable back into the slot of the arrowhead tip so you're in between the two strain reliefs. Screw on your arrowhead tip. And you folks are ready to go. If you have a bottom exit boom pole, the, the installation is going to be just a little bit different. Same thing as, as we said before, you're gonna unscrew the, the arrowhead tip, give yourself a little slack, okay? And unscrew your bottom exit. The configuration's a little different on the bottom exit, so what you're gonna do is, the bottom exit has a screw-on strain relief. So the first thing you're gonna do is unscrew it after you've given yourself all your proper slack that you need. You're gonna unscrew that. Again, bring it down a little bit just to give yourself some room and depress the tab and take out your bottom exit, put it to the side. When you get your extension tube, when you unpack your extension tube, you're gonna find this in there. This is the strain relief for the extension tube for the bottom exit housings only, okay? So you're gonna need to take this one off, the one that comes with the, the boom pole. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can insert a slotted screwdriver, you gotta find the tab in there, Make sure the strain relief is resting up against the connector, okay? Just bring a, a, a slotted screwdriver, depress it with the slotted screwdriver, and you can pop that right out. That's easy. You really don't need it anymore. You could set it aside if you want and save it as a spare, or you could toss it right in the garbage. You're gonna take your strain relief that comes with your extension tube, 
and insert it into the TA3 connector narrow end first, okay? Just pop it right in there and you're gonna have to coil it through a little bit because as you see, this is a little longer. You're gonna need to see that connector. Once you have that TA3 connector exposed, what you can do is grab your extension tube as we discussed before. Simply connect the male to the female end and you're good to go. Again, the very important, you gotta slide the strain relief back down so it's resting against the connector. That's your protection, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna give yourself, bring the slack back up. The strain relief is gonna rest against the boom pole, the lid of the boom pole. That's gonna be your protection, your security. You're gonna screw on your extension tube. Once the extension tube's attached, the next thing is just to reattach your bottom exit housing by connecting your TA3 connector and screwing it right into your boom pole and then follow the, the same steps to re-screw on your arrowhead tip and you're ready to go. The strain relief that you put on that came with the extension tubes, that's gonna now be your permanent strain relief for your bottom exit housing only. If you want more information, please subscribe to our channel and happy booming, folks.